you're reading that right, I'm at the Unclaimed Baggage Center, the only one in our country. Let's go see what happens to all that baggage people don't claim at the airport. Hey folks, this place is kind of busy and they actually have an outside lounge area for you to sit and chill and rock. And just so you know, I love these rocking chairs. Well, while I was in the Unclaimed Baggage Center, ready to pay, somebody saw me recording and they said they don't mind recording at all. That I'm welcome to go record the whole store. Well, I wanted to pay and then record the whole store, but I didn't have my ID. So they're pretty serious about that ID with a credit card or debit card thing here. So I came back out to get my ID and start my whole recording over from outside coming in. By the way, I just fell out of the rig. Just thought somebody should know that. I'm going to record the whole store. They're actually kind of excited that I'm going to record the whole store. Um, and they told me to start over here. So I'm going to, so this is on claim baggage center. It is on claimed airline baggage, on claimed parcel baggage, and any unclaimed baggage that's out there through uh, US mail, postal mail, and the airport. This is the men's section. And mostly it's a ton of jackets and uh, shirts and stuff, but nice stuff and very nice quality. And it's from all over the world. And uh, just so you know, they do have different on social media, different sites on social media and different things they do on social media. They have events too. So the last weekend was their first weekend in November is their ski events. They have all their ski stuff out, all their ski stuff on sale. And they have like a movie and some, I believe she said they did have snacks. I can't remember or people bring snacks, but they do a whole unclaimed baggage sale for ski stuff. But look at that, that is pretty cool. So this one will go on the internet in, in its entirety. And I am in Scottsboro, Alabama. But tons of backpacks, bags, people putting stuff in the wrong spot just like they do in any other store. Luggage bags. That's a purse, but it's not in the purse section, it's over here in the airline section. There's North Face ski apparel. This is all men's suits and jackets. You can see there's some belts. The children's section is actually really small because I did go look over there for my grandson. But here's all the men's stuff. It really is a pretty big store. They do donate a lot of um, like some of the things they get, like wheelchairs, eyeglasses, stuff like that to different charities. So they wanted to make sure that that got mentioned, but look at all these jackets. Really nice jackets, really nice quality stuff. Everything is super clean, very, very organized. Here's what they have in the kids section. Apparently kids don't lose their baggage very much, but I mean, there's a nice Patagonia jacket. Just some really nice stuff. A ton of winter stuff. Um, probably because that is the season out here. Because like I said, it is cold. Oh, which by the way, got to be honest and up front. I did buy a winter jacket. Look at this pretty color one. I think that's a ski jacket. I'm not a skier. But it's pretty. There's a fitting room. Oh no, that's okay. She told me to go ahead and go around and record it for the blog, so oh, I'm doing it. Thanks. Here's the shoe, shoe section again. Across from shoes is women's. Women's has a whole middle section, like they often do, of the store. I hope I'm holding the phone right and you guys are getting to see everything. I'm trying to look at it and look around while I do this. So we'll just take out any fuzzy parts, I guess. But then over here is men's shoes. There's a nice pair of snowshoes again. Shoot. I wish those dang things would fit my feet because my feet are cold. Socks, more women's shoes. They have an extra savings. Things are just stamped. buy a butt pad. Pad your booty. And then this is just local apparel. 
So they have Unclaimed Baggage Center shirt. But the other stuff is stuff that's local to Alabama. And then here's the jewelry section. I think I recorded some of this earlier. And then here's, like I said, the real jewelry. This is real gold, real silver, real diamonds. And some of it is pretty spectacular down there, if you can see. Nice earrings. And some of the jewelry, you could tell, is jewelry from different parts of the world, too. I was going to just say country, but it actually is from different parts of the world. There's some cosmetics, some perfumes, some colognes more jewelry. Here's me in the mirror. Ha ha ha. Pretty amazing place. There's some women's sweaters and scarves. It's a front of the store. Yeah. So here are some diamond rings. Gemstones, bracelets, all through the store. And here's women's clothes, winter sweaters, and then here starts all the costume jewelry. I don't know, it's kind of jumbled, but like I said, I'm an amateur, not a professional. But dig on those shoes. Those are crazy, and they're huge. They have some of their name brand bags behind the jewelry counter. And then they have some of them out here. I'll show those to you again. But here's more costume jewelry, tons of costume jewelry. And here's the purse section. My second favorite section of any store. Only second to shoes. No, there's no shame in my shopping game. Even though I keep trying not to shop, it still happens. There's tons of Michael Kor, tons of Guess, tons of Coach. I found this Kate Spade. I took a picture of it and sent it to my daughter, asking her if she liked it. She didn't reply. And I have to leave soon, so I'm not going to know. But look, and it's not like out-of-date fashion. Oh, and just so you know, all of these products are not used. They are new. They've been, like, shipped out and then just lost somehow. Pretty crazy. More bags on this side. Then here's all the women's jeans and pants. I didn't even look on that side of the store. I probably should when I leave. Here's more wallets. They have like three different sections with the wallets in them. Here's women's workout apparel all through this section. And then over here, is women's dresses and formal wear. Women's dresses, formal wear, and they have a whole rack of wedding dresses. I am going to record that for the blog too, but I mean, look at this. That dress is beautiful. So this is the formal wear section. And then back here, I don't know who in the world keeps losing their wedding dresses, but it's happening. Look at the back of that one. They're pretty. I guess you'd probably want to know a price on something. That one's $75. Very pretty. And I'll go back upstairs and film electronics. Here's some more formal wear. Look at that. And then meet us at 2.30 at the center of the store. Okay, so now we're going to the second level. And up here, it's the books and electronics. So you go through here. There's tons of books. Which I can believe because I'm pretty sure I've left a book at the airport. A book or two, actually. I know for sure I left a denim jacket that had butterflies on it at the airport once. And I really wanted that back. Oh, I actually like this suitcase. Because it has those reverse wheels. 
Yeah, and it's only $45. I didn't think to look at the suitcase. I wonder if that's the... Oh, these all have the reverse wheels. So I wonder if it fits in the spot right. Because that's the thing you got to think about, is whether it's going to fit in that spot. Oh, well, this one, right? Because it's a little smaller. This one. I don't think these ones will. I think those will have to be checked baggage. I don't know why I'm talking about baggage. Anyway, we're back at the sporting goods stuff. Tons of sleeping bags. Here's a disclaimer about sports. You don't have to pause to read that. All kinds of boots. Helmets, tons and tons and tons of helmets must get left behind. Which makes sense. That's one of those things people leave all the time. Set it down and forget about it. And then here's athletic wear. Athletic shoes, athletic socks. Then we're back over by the tennis rackets, some bikes, some camping gear. Skateboards, just the tops of them. Golf clubs. I think that's a cot. One of those rugs I have in the RV. There's all kinds of cool stuff here. Looks like a trombone case. I think I already videotaped the violins I saw. I think one was a violin. And and uh, um, oh, somebody's playing with them over there. Oh, and that's the other thing. Look at all of these headphones. Tons of them. More sporting wear. Here's game systems. Here's eye watches. More phones. Back here, she's got guitars. There's tons of cameras. Here's some more, more phones. Laptops. And then over here is an eyeglass section. And over here is all kinds of electronics and camera gear. That section is a little crowded right now, so I don't want to record it. And then here's these all appear to be prescription glasses. But they said they do donate a ton of prescription glasses. And then these are designer sunglasses. And look over here. Chargers. Seatbelts. Laptops. Tablets again. And then here's tons of iPads. iPads, iPods, more headphones. There's a lot of headphones in here. And those beat kind too. Those are the kind my son used to like. And then here's GoPros, cameras, lenses, tons of camera gear. A marine medical kit. Here. A sword. I don't know what's in those. That's what you want. More cameras in there. And then up here, they have some knives, and here's some knives, and they actually have guns, but per law, they can't sell them to anybody outside of Alabama. But that is it for the top. But I just thought I'd walk through, hopefully make a clearer video than the one I did before. But I wanted to do that and show you this pretty cool store, again, at the Unclaimed Baggage Center. Bye! Thank you. Well, hello, I am back in the rig. I just left the unclaimed baggage store. I do have to say that if you're ever in Scottsboro, Alabama, it's definitely worth a stop in, even if it's just for your curiosity and you're not gonna shop. It's amazing what you can find in there. It really is amazing what's in there. Um, 
ever, there's everything. It's not just baggage from airports. It's shipments that have been sent out that they didn't claim. So there's actually one pair of shoes. There's probably about 30 pair of them in there. It was supposed to be shipped to some store and the address or something was wrong. So it ends up here. That's pretty cool. Um, they do donate stuff like wheelchairs that don't get claimed, eyeglasses that don't get claimed, stuff like that they do donate to charity. The shocking thing to me is they actually, there's guns in there. They have some guns. They can't sell guns to anybody outside the state of Alabama. There were two like modern day type guns, I guess I'll say. And one was definitely some sort of a collector item gun. There was also a collector item sword, which was pretty cool. I don't collect swords, so I didn't buy it. But if you're a sword collector, that would have been cool to have. Thousands of iPads, th thousands of cell phones, thousands of eyeglasses. Oddly, a surprising number of helmets for every sort of sport you want. They got a helmet for you. Um, they do have the luggage in there. I did look at some of those because I do need, a, I tore my duffel bag on the way out here. But um, I didn't want to bring any more stuff into the rig. Even though I say that, I did shop. I don't know, I'm supposed to be curing my shopping craziness. And I feel like I pretty much have, but I bought a winter jacket, a Betsy Johnson winter jacket. I Googled it on Google. It was $240 and I believe I paid 22. I got a pair of Lulu row workout pants, brand new for $10, $10 y'all. I can't believe it. And then I got a Calvin Klein sweatshirt. Um, I can't tell if it's new or used or not. It was in really good shape, but I really liked it. So I got it. It was six bucks. I didn't spend much money at all. Much money at all. Pretty shocked. Anyway, but I thought I'd let you guys know that. And um, that I'm on my way. I am going to have to stay in this side of Alabama until at least Saturday because I have an appointment with glowworms on Saturday. I don't think you know how freaking excited I am about the glowworm thing. Anyway, peace out, everybody. If you're ever in Alabama, check out the Unclaimed Baggage Store. I'll post some pictures on the internet, maybe tomorrow morning. But this video won't go up for a while, but it's pretty cool. Pretty cool place. Bye.